Hi, so I've been living in this new studio apartment for three weeks now, and I am really, really excited to share with you how I've decorated it, what I've bought and just kind of reworked and refurbished. I had three main points of inspo, one being that I found some really lovely mid-century pieces. I taken quite a liking to curves and interesting shapes in my furniture. I've also really been gravitating towards different kinds of woods. And I think it works particularly well in this space because there is such a lack of brown. By default, it's quite white and gray, and I'm not into that. So I kind of looked at it like starting with a blank white canvas. And what can you do from there? What kind of pieces can you incorporate to make it art, to make it an interesting piece? And that kind of ties into my second point of inspo as well. I am a big believer that if you cannot paint the walls, you have to use color through the little detailing. Like even right now, I'm sitting on this cobalt blue chair. I just really need color in my life. It makes me happy and I've never been one to gravitate towards solely beige living spaces. I would say my third point of inspo was the biggest one for me and that was putting an emphasis on moving memories around this space. There have just been some really big and rapid changes in the last couple months, some career shifts and different creative projects coming up. Obviously this move is a big one and one of my best friends left the province. There's kind of been, I don't know, I'm even just hanging out with different people than I started this year with. Everything is so, I, I got my eyebrows back. These bad boys were bleached for nine months. I just, I feel like <laughs> everything is so different. And when I come back to this space, this small little studio, I wanna be able to ground myself in good memories and reminders of how loved I am, which is cheesy, but I feel it very profoundly. You'll notice throughout this tour that a lot of the art on my walls looks very particular and specific and unique. And that is because a lot of it is postcards and letters people have written to me in frames, as well as original art pieces from my friends that do actually make art. I have a lot of really personal photographs on the walls as well, and different excerpts of poems that matter to me and little pieces of my Hungarian heritage around the space. And I think out of everything, that was the best choice I made while designing this space. I feel like, I don't know, it's just, I, I live in this reflection of myself and I'm, I'm very excited to share it with you.
smoking a cigarette. Don't waste your breath. I already want you to death. I must be tired, too tired to sleep. Oh, what the hell does that mean? I think that I'm. Maybe it's the coffee drugs kicking in. It's the coffee drugs. If this feeling ever ends, pick me up. Pick me up. Don't you? So this is where I live now. Any thoughts? Do you like it? Don't tell me if you don't. Living alone so far has been a really interesting experience. You know, I've only been at it for a month, but I've already come to a lot of realizations about my own independence and aloneness. Some things coming more from a gratitude perspective and other things, um, points I've identified that I need to work on in order to live my happiest, most fulfilled life here. And as I'm figuring all this out, I, I hope I can share it with you. I feel so full of these ideas and thoughts that I want to share. And yeah, TBA coming soon. I hope you liked this video. And if you didn't see my last one, I recorded a moving vlog the whole process of this transition. So I will link it on screen here and in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't and like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment if you have any questions and yeah, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Have a good one. Bye.